Kendall made the decision to go to this year's Fashion Week without taking her sister Kim along, which was extremely shocking for the media. Normally, Kendall brings family members to events like this, but this year, she changed her mind last minute. As expected, Kim wasn't too thrilled, sparking yet another round of drama within the Kardashian-Jenner family. For context, Kendall has built a pretty solid career in modeling over the last few years. She's become a regular on runways and Fashion Week lineups, and bringing Kim along used to be a given. But this time, something changed. Fans are wondering why Kendall decided to leave Kim out, and in today's video, we're going to explore why Kendall made this choice and how Kim reacted. But why did Kendall decide to not take Kim along? And even more importantly, how did Kim react to it? This is exactly what we will find out in today's video, so make sure to stick around until the end so you don't miss a single juicy detail. Also, before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another celebrity drama. Let's start from the beginning. Kendall has often been called out for getting support from her family, and her personality revolves around, I am not like my sisters, as people claim she is the most natural person in the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Growing up in the shadows of her media-savvy sisters, Kendall has found herself overlooked since she did not relate much to her sisters. Despite being a part of the family, she has kept a low profile during her early years. And you all can notice that in early episodes of the show, The Kardashians, she was convinced she had to go out of her family bubble and was determined to establish herself as a serious professional in an industry where she could create her own identity, separate from the Kardashian brand. Kanye West, Kim's former husband, has played a significant role in Kendall's early modeling career and has helped her grow in the field with his connections. His influence and connections in the fashion industry opened doors for her, allowing Kendall to secure high-profile gigs and collaborations with major fashion houses. Even Kendall's mother, Kris Jenner, has a huge contribution to Kendall's career as she has helped her since a very young age, helping her navigate the complexities of the entertainment industry, particularly in modeling and television. Today, Kendall Jenner is recognized as one of the most successful supermodels in the world, and a huge part of credit goes to Chris. Her achievements include walking the runway for top designers, gracing the covers of prestigious magazines, and becoming a sought-after face in fashion campaigns. Despite her own immense fame, Kim Kardashian has reportedly felt pangs of jealousy over Kendall's success. This sibling rivalry adds an interesting layer to their relationship, as Kim grapples with her sister's rising star in a field where she herself has little presence. The reported sibling rivalry between Kim Kardashian and Kendall Jenner introduces a fascinating dynamic within their family, especially given their vastly different paths within the realm of fame and success. In the past, it was said that Kim had a problem with Kendall not being grateful enough for her the time husband Kanye West, as he helped to become an established model. You can see here, Kim has a clear problem with her sisters having more fame than her. Their differences are now quite visible. And exactly this has been blamed on Chris as she has been accused of being a bad mother and her parenting style has been criticized time and time again. Internal sources have claimed that she is the mastermind behind strategizing her daughter's relationships, be it Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Kendall, or Kylie. All have been in controversial relationships that are suspected of being mere PR stunts, and it looks like they do it for attention. Critics often highlight her alleged prioritization of fame and financial gain over genuine maternal guidance. She has played a significant role in orchestrating her daughter's personal and romantic lives for public consumption. Kim Kardashian's initial claim to fame was a leaked private tape, which catapulted her into the limelight, and we all know who was behind that. This controversial beginning laid the foundation for her reality TV career and subsequent business ventures. In contrast, Kendall Jenner's rise to fame has been relatively scandal-free. Her success is primarily attributed to her hard work and dedication to modeling, rather than sensationalist media coverage. It is said that Kris Jenner has also played a role in setting up Kendall with Bad Bunny. Is it a surprise that Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner got together at a time when both of them had something to launch? What creates more suspicion is the fact that both Kylie Jenner's, Timothy Chalamet, and Kendall's boyfriend, Bad Bunny, are from the same agency. This created another social media debate over the fact that Chris is behind her daughter's dating life. Kendall's modeling career has reached impressive heights, and Kim herself has a significant presence in the fashion world. But here's the thing, Kim wasn't always supportive of Kendall's modeling ambitions, and it is maybe because of sibling jealousy. Back when Kendall was just starting out, Kim openly admitted she didn't understand why Kendall would want to forge her own path. Despite the lack of support, Kendall persevered, and now she's a big name in fashion. Fast forward to today, Kim's past behavior might explain why Kendall didn't feel the need to bring her sister along. 
On top of that, Kim has been in the headlines recently for her ongoing drama with her ex-husband Kanye West and his new wife, Bianca Consori. She's been criticized for seeming jealous of their relationship and, as some fans suggest, trying to get Kanye's attention again. There are even rumors of Kim trying to snag a new famous boyfriend, with names like Tom Brady and Odell Beckham Jr. in the mix. On top of all that, fans believe Kim might have even tried cozying up to Kendall's boyfriend, Bad Bunny. So it's no surprise that Kendall, tired of all the drama, decided to go to Fashion Week on her own terms. Reportedly, Kendall had two main reasons for not taking Kim along. First, she didn't want Kim to steal the spotlight. Fashion Week is a huge deal for Kendall's career, and she feared that with Kim there, her own hard-earned attention might be overshadowed. Second, Kendall wants to be recognized for her own achievements, not just as Kim Kardashian's sister. By going solo, she's asserting her independence in the industry and distancing herself from the Kardashian-Jenner brand. Of course, Kim had something to say about all this. She took to social media, claiming she's always supported Kendall and was hurt by her decision. Kim argued that family should come first, but fans were quick to call her out, reminding her of past moments where she seemed more focused on fame and fortune than family loyalty. Some even pointed out how Kim used her sister Courtney's wedding designs to make her own business deals. Despite the backlash, Kendall still attended Fashion Week without Kim. She did bring her boyfriend, Bad Bunny, along, and later her sister Kylie showed up too. Kendall's appearances were a hit. Vogue even praised her for her stunning runway walk, and fans loved seeing her bold, independent style. In the end, this move seems to have paid off. Kendall got tons of attention from fashion brands and media outlets, all without the Kardashian name overshadowing her. But fans are speculating that Kim isn't happy about Kendall's success or her choice to keep Kim out of it. They noted that Kim hasn't posted any public congratulations, which they saw as a missed opportunity to support her sister. Personally, I think Kendall made a bold choice by stepping out on her own, proving that she's more than just a Kardashian sister. Kim tries hard on stealing spotlights, and we all know that well, as her PR stunts never seemingly stop. She's done it before, and she can do it again. Half of the time, it has been confirmed that Kim's relationships were mostly a PR stunt to gain more fame, attention, and money. Her relationship with Ray J was highly suspected of being a publicity stunt to gain the media's attention, as this was the time Kim gained the most fame as her private tapes were leaked. Critics and the majority of the fans believe this was done by Kim herself. Another time, her marriage to Chris Humphreys was highly publicized in 2011. Their wedding was broadcast as a special on her reality show. That marriage only lasted 72 days, leading many to speculate that it was a PR stunt to boost ratings and attention. Similar happened in the case of Reggie Bush and Miles Austin. What seemed genuine at first turned out to be just another relationship to boost ratings of the show. As we all know, Kanye has been vocal about his relationship with Kim after his divorce in 2021. He has publicly acknowledged this problem and at times he has criticized what he perceives as the family's obsession with fame and public image. He has even criticized Kim's parenting methods and has accused Kim of using her kids for her popularity. Now, recent events have sparked speculation about Kim Kardashian's interest in the popular artist Bad Bunny. Some believe her actions may be driven by a desire to spark a new romantic connection or simply to gain attention. At a recent event, video footage captured Kim's apparent attempts to interact with Bad Bunny, leading to widespread discussion and analysis. The footage shows Kim trying to get Bad Bunny's attention through dance and other flirtatious behavior, which has been widely interpreted as an attempt to make a move on him. Kendall Jenner, who was also present at the event, appeared to intervene and keep Bad Bunny focused on her, highlighting the underlying tension between the sisters. The footage shows Kim dancing provocatively and making several attempts to engage with Bad Bunny, seemingly intent on capturing his attention. Kendall, on the other hand, is seen subtly positioning herself between Kim and Bad Bunny, engaging him in conversation and diverting his attention from her sister. While she clearly seems uncomfortable by Kim's actions with her boyfriend, she can't do anything about it. The Kardashian-Jenner family's reality show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, often showcased intimate and personal aspects of their lives, leading to concerns about the impact of such constant public scrutiny on the family. Chris has been criticized for the early exposure of her children, particularly Kendall and Kylie, and you can see that criticism went well. Kylie, who was exposed to the media at a very young age, made several wrong decisions with her face and people are criticizing her for it. Now, Kim is repeating the cycle with her kids being in front of the public eye all the time, and we have discussed that plenty of times on this channel. It creates a mental toll on the family members, especially among the kids, and as in the Jenner sisters case, it didn't end well. The public reaction has been divided, with some fans siding with Kim and others with Kendall. Team Kim supporters argue that Kim has every right to pursue her interests and that she should not be judged for her actions. 
On the other hand, Team Kendall fans praise Kendall for maintaining professionalism and trying to keep the situation under control by not taking Kim along anymore. I think I get why Kim might feel hurt by the decision, but I want to know your opinion. What do you think? Was Kendall right to go solo, or should she have taken Kim along? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more celebrity drama updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.